The drought has just begun. Hoover Dam holds back the eastern United States' largest water reservoir, Lake Mead. This lake provides water to 25 million Americans and irrigates 5 million acres of farmland. Across California, Arizona, and Nevada, this makes up 15% of the country's total food production. But the lake is drying up. For 22 years, a drought has covered this side of the country, dropping the reservoir 174 feet since 2000 to only 37% capacity. Only 90 more feet, and Hoover Dam will no longer be able to generate power. Oh man, whoa. But we need to stop the drought before this happens. We have to consider why this drought has continued for so long. Looking at this problem as a large chemical reaction, a loss in water through evaporation and exportation seems to be the main cause. Natural evaporation does occur, but with weak water management regulations from the government, in combination with groundwater and rivers extending across multiple property boundaries, this creates a culture of first come, first serve for water usage. Of course, these farmers want to use as much water as possible because that generally results in the best outcome for themselves. Unfortunately, at least 50% of this water sprayed onto the fields evaporates directly into the air and is blown away. But in this instance, most evaporation is human caused. Dumping thousands of gallons of water down the toilet in the middle of a drought, that's uh, news. Since modern farming's inefficiencies are the problem, we need to innovate on them. Water sprayed or dripped on an open field evaporates very quickly. Indoor controlled farming systems are beginning to approach 90 to 95 percent water reduction. So instead of using three and a half gallons of water to grow a single tomato, indoor farming can accomplish the same task with only one third of a gallon of water. One shipping container farm manufacturer claims they can produce almost 400 pounds of food a month in a 40 by 8 container. On top of this reduction in water use, shipping container farms can be placed within cities, eliminating all costs associated with transporting food hundreds of miles. Get out of the truck! In a North American society, it should be no question for investors that this is the technology of the future. Traditional farms are inefficient, ineffective, and unprofitable compared to these new competitors.